Who's excited about mail time? I am. <laughs> oh, I found someone. Ooh. Bro, you just hit my microphone. Oh, okay, that's not a good place to punch. Doesn't it feel like we were just here a week ago doing the same exact thing? Uh -huh, yeah. And a week before that, and a week before that, mm -hmm. and a week before that. Does that, this, like, it's like deja vu. It's like Groundhog Day. Thank you, Clark, man. <laughs> Give me that big hug. We're gonna start mail time off properly here. I'm just gonna hug him the whole time as I open this up. Put him in a bear hug here. We're gonna open up all your guys' packages with Clark in a bear hug. <laughs> okay, I let you go. Oh, we got a little uh, packy. I was gonna say a little packy of goodage, but we got a package of goodies here. I'll let Clark get into that as I get into the letter. This says, Dear Mr. Brickitect, Clark, this is my first time sending you some mail. You guys are my fan. You guys are my fan. I, I am your fan of yours. I love Legos and I don't know how you guys buy so much expensive Legos. We my get a lot sent to us missing. as evidenced by mail time. My hand. Where's his hand? Uh, I saw you guys have a Lego room. I do too. Can you maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel? It's uh, somebody somewhere. There's his channel. This is from Caleb and Caleb sent us some little goodies here. Caleb. Caleb. We got Caleb. That. Looks like we got Batman, it's a brick deck video. We got Captain America shield and we have some Batman action happening here. Yeah, I wanna put him on the motorcycle. Go ahead. The uh, motorcycle's been customized. Let me see the side of that quick, man. It says pizza. <laughs> it says pizza more than this. I could eat some yeah. pizza right now. And yeah. it's eight o'clock in the morning. There you go. <laughs> and he's off. See ya. See ya. Thank you, Caleb, for the... Uh, <laughs> Minifig and the Batman on a motorcycle. Next one here, this is an interesting one. I'll give you guys some background on the United States Postal Service. So when you wanna send something to someone, typically you put a stamp on an envelope, send it out and all is good. When you send something that's bigger than a piece of paper or a few pieces of paper inside an envelope, that's when postage starts to go up and you have to pay postage accordingly. You can though send things out to people without doing that just by simply putting a stamp on here. The problem is when it goes to the recipient, which would be us in this case, they have two choices to make or a choice to make. You can either refuse the package and send it back to the person because they didn't pay the postage. So in that case, the post office would spend their own money sending this back to the person that sent it just to be like, you didn't put enough postage on this. Or option two, which is usually what I choose, is that I can pay the postage due. And in this case, this package cost me $7.45 to receive. I kind of feel like I'm gambling a little bit here. It's almost like the lottery where I'm like, ooh, I'll pay $7. You never know, I could scratch off something amazing on this ticket. So for that reason, I spent the $7.45 to receive this. What do you think's in here, Clark, man? Let's shake it. What's that sound like? I think it's, some I hope it's something. Okay, let's find out. What will it be? Will it be worth $7.45? There's a letter, but let's find out what we got. Oh my god, Hot Wheels card! Oh, I think we got it, boys. Oh my Hot Wheels! Oh my Hot Wheels! <laughs> What's that? Is that Minecraft? Yeah, Minecraft Chaser. Okay. We got more cars in here. We got this car. Oh my gosh. I think we won the lottery here, boys. We have this car. Nice. We have this poop car. Poop car? Okay. Someone sent us their entire Hot Wheels collection, it seems. Holy moly. Got this one. Yes. This is my favorite. Whoa. And we got this one. A doom book. That one's my favorite. What's that? That's like a four-wheeler, actually. Yeah, it's a four-wheeler. Yeah. We need like a little minifig to put on there. And there is a minifig in here as well. He's creeping in the corner. Let me pull him out of us. Car is right there. And uh, this gentleman right here, he's got the crazy face going on with the Han Solo jacket. Let's find out who sent this. Dear Greg and Clark, my name is Clark, and I am 10, 13 years old. I love your videos every day. I watch the mail time videos. I have that, I, ha I watch the mail time videos. I have Hot Wheels for Clark, and Minecraft Llama, and my Sig Fig. Love Clark. Clark. What? Clark sent this to you. An actual Clark exists out in the world other than you. Oh. We have never gotten a package from Clark. So Clark to Clark, thank you for sending your Hot Wheels collection to us. Very kind of you to do that, man. This one went off the table, by the way. How dare you. Some scratches. That, that one became a brick tag video. Definitely put you up on the sig fig wall, my friend. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we do have one package left here, though. This is from a 
Patreon detector and a repeat offender. This is from the Builders 310. I hope it's something very unlooked. You guys know I love story time, and this one is also interesting because I picked this up earlier and I heard something inside here. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or the microphone's gonna pick it up. Or if I can make it even do it. But it sounds like there is some liquid inside here. It sounds like a bottle of something. I hear liquid moving around. And I hear Lego in here too, so. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I liquid. Yeah, there's like a, I hear liquid moving. I don't know if we've ever gotten anything liquidy in the mail before. Today's a day of first, my friends. Don't cut the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> If it starts dripping everywhere, we'll know what happened. I could be completely wrong though. I just heard it, I heard it. You guys know the sound. It's like blah, 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 blah. Never try to cut through Gorilla Tape. Not the smartest thing to do. There's a letter here on top. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of stuff, but we're gonna read the letter first. This says, hello, Greg and Clark. There are, here are a few things I thought you'd both enjoy. Lego, of course, but also Harry Potter themed treat. I hope everything traveled well and you enjoy the contents. Thank you for all the great videos and streams. See you soon from your fans, The Builders 310, Gary, Heather, and Samuel. What did The Builders 310 send us? We've got, oh wow, a Nexo Knights poly bag. That to me looks like a poly bag Wednesday. Oh. In addition to that, we got some Harry Potter Series 2 CMS part, man. I think it's some um, that guy right there. Do you? Mm -hmm. We also have a Roxy appearance. She's getting excited right now as well. I don't know if there's anything in here for Roxy, but we do have complete set 1271, which is like a little island explorer type deal. I'm sure Clark, you'll build that up. We got this as well. This is 40355, Year of the Rat, which Ooh. now that I'm holding this up, it kind of looks like Clark a little bit. He's a little rat. We also have the instructions for that set, that, that one right there. Ooh, cool. This is cool. We got a plane. And I think, is this with that? This is really well packaged. So 5925, right there. And, uh-oh. It's a Minecraft! Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Oh my gosh. Forget about Minecraft, Clark, man. We have the most ultra rare of rarest brick separators here. It's the four wide brick separator used for separating chocolate labs. Let me see if it works. I'm trying, I'm trying to see if it works. It's, it doesn't seem to be functional. I don't know the exact name of this one, but this is the Ender Dragon set that Clark Man is missing from his collection. This is so cool. Now we know what Clark Man's gonna be doing the rest of the day today. Right here is the Ender Dragon. It has Technic on the Ender Dragon. Ooh. <laughs> Should we find out what this is? That's the liquid. I don't know what this is. Clark's only. For Clark's only? Yeah. I don't think this one's gonna be for Clark's only. It looks like a bottle. It is a bottle. It's wrapped really well. Roxy is very interested in it too. Mm. Let's see what we got here. Let me come out of there. Here we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. This is some butterscotch beer. This is Flying Cauldron, non-alcoholic, Butterscotch beer. New video title, Clark Man. Uh -huh. Given my five-year-old beer. This right here. This is the London magnet, which I am starting a magnet collection. I'm in the process of doing it. And now we have London, baby, for the UK detectors and the Bricks and Brits detectors out there. London. That cleared the box, but let's find out what my my other drank is here. My you a little excited? <laughs> Roxy's getting excited about this one. She's like, is that dog beer? I could use some dog beer. Oh, it's been a rough day. I've dealt with the kid for two hours since he's been up. This one is the same thing. Should we try it, Clark Man? Yeah. I thought it was gonna explode because we've been shaking this around like maniacs. Mmm, smells like butterscotch. Oh. You wanna smell it, Bear? The sniffification's going on. Here's our thumbnail. It's really good. It tastes like a butterscotch candy, basically, is what it tastes like. Go ahead, Clark, man. Try your first beer, man. Starting them early here. I recommend this. There's somebody <laughs> out there for a craggle. Oh, God. Clark's on the bottle again, boys. He's on Pappy's cough syrup. Oh, no, Clark passed out. Way too much non-alcoholic butterscotch beer for him. 
But builders, thank you so much for the beer in the mail. Also, thank you to Caleb and Clark for all the other goodies that we got today. And of course, thank you to everyone else that watched today's video. Hope you enjoyed what you saw here. We're back again next week with yet another mail time. I'm going to the post office about every two weeks now. So I just split the mail in half and we're gonna be picking this stuff up. And when we get enough letters, we'll do a letter attack and all that fun stuff. So on that, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next creepy face. <laughs> You know what's really funny, Clark, man? What? This isn't even actually beer. This is actually butterscotch cream soda. So we just clickbaited the heck out of you guys. Clarky wasn't drinking beer. I wasn't drinking beer. And I don't condone it, guys. Stay in school. Uh, don't drink beer. Um, wear your seatbelt. What other life advice do you have for everyone out there? Um, be careful climbing a mountain or, or like, I'll talk about a never, I'll talk about a never, a story. Oh God. So, Pap was climbing a mountain. Okay. And he's climbing the mountain. He the, the, the go get the deer, for, get some stuff, some meat from the deer. Mm -hmm. He he rolls down the mountain. Ah! Whoa. And that's why you should be careful climbing a mountain. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to end the video. Cheers, everyone. Have a glorious rest of your day, and we'll see you in. Oh, he's doing cheers. See you in the next one.